trash! Just to get me out there until some rich in the closet Saudi prince wants to pay for my butt, and then I'm good to go. I'm set for life. Excuse me? What? Yeah, man. Set. Just set up. Done. Pat, are you technically a sugar baby? Well, I like I like sweets. And I am a big baby. So, sure. Let's say yeah. Why not? All right. Now let's hold on. I got to set this thing up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Boop -a -da boop boop boop. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. What the fuck? Did I close the fucking window? What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Okay, I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to figure it out. I'm smart. I'm better. I'm smarter. How's that go again? Oh shit! I didn't fucking remove the old videos. Sh shit, you're stuck with me for a little bit. As I go through these fucking videos I have to remove. Shit! Uh, I'm still reacting. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, wow. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, wow. Big. Pretend there's a video. Pretend you're watching a video. Oh, crazy. Oh, Richter doesn't have Uno. I can't believe it. Spaghetti again. Oh, I remember spaghetti again. Evil rap about Clown Depot? Did I watch that? Oh, there's ASMR B movie. There's uh oh. Water in the fire. Uh huh. Baba. Good old Dr. B's. That isopod thing I skipped. The design is very human. Oh my god, I watched so many videos and then did not remove them. I really should have done this beforehand. Do you guys still think I'm cool? I hope you guys still think I'm cool. Did you ever? Some people think I'm cool. Paige thinks I'm cool. Oh, thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Paige says she thinks I'm hot, but not cool. Man, that Walt Disney thing got me fucking... Real bad. Did not know Grumpy hated women. I didn't know. I just didn't know. There we go. I I caught up. I caught up. I'm now going to set this up, and I swear to God, if this is another one of those videos with the tiny hippo, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. It is... God damn it, it's another video with that tiny hippo! I'm immediately skipping this! Bruh! Bruh! Oh my god, wait, sh everyone shut up! Holy fuck! Yeah, Pat, watch your hands. I'm so smart. I grabbed the complete bottom of the plate. I'm a genius. Thank you, darling. Uh -huh. I'm a genius. Does anyone want to see this fancy thing, Paige made? It looks incredible. Okay, Paige, do you really not want me to show them? Paige is like, oh, this is ugly. Look at this. Look at this. Is that chicken? That's chicken with a salad and rice and feta and, like, some kind of sauce on it. Yeah, that's tremendous. That looks great. It tastes good. That's all that matters. Paige is, Paige is food insecure. Paige thinks her food doesn't have fat tits, but it do. Also, I want to point out that now that there is food here... There's also baby, and I will fight you.
He's so big, I love him. Oh. If only I had the delicious food from HelloFresh, would this meal have been complete? That's crazy, Paige. It's such a good time to get HelloFresh. You could use the link and use the code POGHF4657 and you get 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 surprise gifts. Wow. So natural, I know. Oh, I think I think this I think the smartest thing I ever did in my entire career as an internet man was to be an absolute dog shit motherfucker about selling out. At least you're honest. <laughs> At least like you're just honest. absolute fucking piece of shit about selling out because man it sucks if, you, if people actually are like how could you sell out and it's like because because of cash <laughs> you use you use money to buy chicken at the store and 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 xbox <laughs> let's just <laughs> it's do it, what you gotta do all right, now let's watch this shit. I don't know what it is. I'm in. It is the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stone. Ulysses, the way back to Earth has been wiped from my memory. Father! Oh, Father! Well, this you rules. Are alive, my son. <laughs> Yo, this is great. He's got a fucking laser sword. It's got a combine for the toy. Yo, that's great. I love that. Spaghetti time. Wait, what was that? Why does that guy sound like Archer? Oh, movies. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's H. John Benjamin. Right. Oh, is this is first roll? That's cool. Ryan, it's up to you. I've got a good feeling about this. You tell them, Shulk. This is gonna be absolutely mint. Yeah! What? Oh, man. After all my training. <laughs> oh, wait. I'll smash that future away. Yeah, that'll sort it nicely. <laughs> you can't have a rainbow without Ryan, baby. Ryan! Ryan! 
these crazy explanations. Choke! It's gonna need his medication when he hears Rhyme! Exaggerations, there'll be trouble in town tonight. I'll kill you! Choke! Uh, um, no. Old Square Tash is gonna put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? What are you doing? It's in very good condition. What? Nah, what are you doing, Shulk? I'm turning up the heat. We're gonna eat toast. Woo! Toast. Whew. Ali -oop. This is fucking incredible. Okay, Shulk, now we're getting started. What? The future is changing. What are you on about? You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt it up. I didn't dream it, I'm not lying. Okay, okay, I believe you. But wait, I'm seeing something. Shulk, you see something? No, I can't see it clearly. I don't think I can change the future. What's done is done. Move on. Okay, Ryan. Ryan, this is not good. <laughs> don't think you're tough just because you're three times as hard. Never do that. What? What a mess, Ryan. This is bad. Look, not good enough. What? Oh, wait. Ryan time. You can't have a rainbow without. Let's split. Ryan. <sighs> Sorry. Didn't get enough sleep. Why don't we grab some shut eye? We got through that pretty good. What? Ah! <laughs> Mechon. Ah! Mechon! You will pay for what you've done! Oh, yeah! Can we actually win here? Nah. Ryan! No! <laughs> In your face. Ryan! It's always delicious, but today it's amazing. Ah! Ah! That's incredible. Oh, no. This I have right. never I been a person that can use the restroom in public. Sometimes I can do a one, but it's impossible to make a two in public. The strangers moving about the restroom while I'm at my most vulnerable is so terrifying and humiliating to me. Ugh, my date with Sarah is going so well. Hmm. But I may have to call it quits so I can go home and release this loaf. Yeah. It's so painful. <laughs> yeah, it happens, hey, man. I'll be right back. I'm gonna freshen up real quick. Wait here for me, will you? Maybe I can be quick. In and out. Sarah won't even know that I used the restroom. It's better than stinking up my pants again. Oh, man, what the hell? Oh, man. So many people. Come on, hurry up and leave. <laughs> Damn it. It's too late. Everyone must be gone. No. <laughs> what the? Are you gonna keep us waiting all day? Why do you play such silly games with us? Why not release your sweet music into that porcelain bowl? been occupying stalls your whole life, rarely giving blessings back to the bowl. But you are no longer in control. <laughs> Please, leave me alone! <laughs> Do you feel it moving slowly through your intestines? <laughs> go away! Please, just oh. go away! Okay. Before we can 
smell how selfish your burden will be. Only giving gifts to the toilet at your home, not to the porcelain of the people. But you can't hide from it now, can you? <laughs> I'm trying to eat my food, dude. I'll do it, okay? Are you happy? I'm gonna do it! Just please, leave me alone! <laughs> Uh, Thomas? Sarah? G -g Get out of here! It's not safe! Thomas, what are you talking about? No one's in here. Uh, I heard screaming. What's going on? <sighs> Taking a fat <sighs> rip. Uh, nothing! Uh, just just on a call uh, with, with my dad. It's a personal call, okay? So I'll meet you outside in a second. All right? All right, Sarah? S Sarah? Hello? I was hallucinating a poop monster. Cancer, Thomas. <laughs> Poor little Thomas. Can't go boom boom in public. <laughs> Do you have anything to say before your expulsion? Thomas. Why are you doing this? Yeah, good question. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Wow, that's way worse than I thought. Sarah? Three. Jesus Christ. I don't care for that. Not gonna stop me from eating my food though. G'day, Chris here and welcome back to ClickSpring. For some time now, I've been using this temporary arrangement to blue screws. But I've got quite a few parts to blue over the next few months. So in this video, I make a more permanent version. What? You're gonna make a tray? The idea behind a tray full of brass chips is that it helps to spread the heat evenly over the whole part. So it's a great way to get a uniform colour. But I like to have something a bit more convenient than a vice grip holding it all together. Before we get on to making it though, I'd like to show you the very first bluing pan I made before I really understood what was required. There's a few things that I did wrong when making it that are worth pointing out. For one thing, the brass is too thin, so the heat change on the plate is much too fast. But the big mistake I, I made was for. to put too many large holes in it. I can't really recall what I had in mind when I did that, but it was a bad idea. All it did was remove even more mass from the plate, and the holes permit the flame to lick around the sides of the part and ruin the colour. It does have a few redeeming features though. The legs holding it off the bench were a good idea, although they've oxidised quite a bit from the heat, so I might try making those from brass this time and see if it makes any difference. The handle is fine too, so I'll cut that off and reuse it. I'm also going to make two versions of the tray that can screw onto the end of the handle as required. One will be the more permanent version like, of the brass shaving tray I just spoke of, and the other will be a plate version with holes in it for screws, this time with smaller holes. And I can also make more variations on the idea in future and reuse that handle. I'm going to make the trays using this ring of brass left over from making the barrel and these two discs left over from other projects. The feet will be turned from this brass Metal coloring. Huh. So let's get started. The first thing I did was cut off the handle. Now the handle is just a hardwood dowel from the hardware store, mounted on a length of steel rod. And as I recall, when I made it, I formed a short tang on the end of the steel rod that was a good fit inside the dowel. Cut metal. 
Oh, then form the thread on the metal. end of the handle. Yeah, I'm not too big on this one. So what are we looking at here? Homicide. Death by strangulation. Vine marks around the neck. Maybe a Venusaur? Nah, Venusaur vines would snap the windpipe like a twig. There was a struggle. You can see vine flakes underneath the fingernails. So what are you thinking? Might be sore? Bulbasaur? Check the skin. What do you see? Yeah. There's no blood. Giga Drain. What kind of monster would do something like this? We're all monsters, Jake. Monsters in the pocket of God. Angela. The murderer. Here's another question. Oh, I like this question. I'm currently recovering from a wrist injury and have to wear a it. brace. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? What'd you say? For jerking it. <laughs> Zangief. Zangief. No. If you'll excuse me. The dog has knocked over everything on that table. I'll be right back. I fixed the table. I also got a second helping of that dinner page made because it's fucking great. It's great. I often get asked what happened and almost as often that question is followed up with him <laughs> oh, no! saying a variation of too much jerking off. <laughs> we did it, everybody. We did it. My, my, that's my, our, that's our Oscar. No, my honey totally. pot is, is finally paid off. Um, Does it really fucking say that in the question? Yeah. People think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I mean. A bunch of Imperial Guardsmen, right? They're, they're defending a spot. And the orcs just keep on coming. They just keep on coming. They don't stop. Yeah. And, and eventually the guardsmen run out of ammunition with their last guns. And then the company commander has an idea. He points his last gun at an enemy and he goes, bang! And then, and then an orc falls over dead. And then the guardsmen look at him and they're like... Bah, 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 and then all the orcs just start falling over dead. Until, because they believe they've still got ammo, I assume. <laughs> until, they, until a group of six orcs run over the hill and they just won't fall over from all the banging. And then they hear chanting in the distance. And then as they get closer, they hear, I'm a tank, 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 I'm a tank. <laughs> no fucking way. I think it's bullshit, but I love the story. <laughs> it's a great story. No, we sh that's, that's, that has to be real because that's fucking great. I love it. Man, Duke, I don't know what your problem is. You literally showed up here three weeks in a row with, like, when is that TBFP reunion going to be happening? And, like, it's literally all you say in the chat. I don't, I don't get it. I, don't, I, I genuinely don't get it. Like, I timed you out for a week last week, and I was like, quit it, it's weird. Wait, already banned? How is that even po Oh, Queequeg did it! Oh! I was like, how is he talking if he's already banned? That's fucking crazy. É, tudo ao vivo, galera. Altas horas aqui com o prensado. A mulher vai me matar. Where is this? É isso daí, galera. Voltando aí, mais um vídeo para vocês. Papo de comida na área. Oh, Brasil looks great. Invadiu o Rio de Janeiro, galera. Vocês querem conhecer a gastronomia aí de São Paulo? Não precisa pegar o ônibus, não precisa what a, what pegar o cool avião. Vem pra country. cá, Paulista aqui, trouxe São Paulo aí pra gente. E aqui, 
Quem não ama os prensados, galera? Os prensados são os clássicos aí. Paulista, conta um pouquinho aqui pra gente como funciona aqui esse esquema de prensado que eu tô Gatrins? sabendo oh, que é um yeah. sucesso absurdo. Então, okay, galera, there you go. vamos conhecer aí. Fala pra gente. Então, esse cachorro que a gente trouxe yeah, já tem 10 anos now. já, né? Então, a gente tá aqui 10 anos já. E a gente lança uma tela de linguiça tem pouco tempo. Eu, o pessoal pedia muito de linguiça, lançamos tem yeah. dois oh, meses. Friends, é, que lançamos de linguiça, tá bombando. Ele é bem simples, mas saboroso. Leva aquela maionese da gente especial e... É aquela There we go. É, 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 é aquela, aquele segredo lá. Já vou There dizer, não preciso mais experimentar, vou embora. Acabou. Acabou. Tem aquela maionese, já é ignorante. Yeah, galera, it's already que maionese advantage. exclusiva. Mais uma vez, não é mexan, galera. Eu tô falando algo sério, galera. Eu adorei. A maionese é extremamente sensacional. Conta pra gente. Salsicha, a gente trabalha com os ingredientes são duas salsicha, batata palha, que é tipo mostrar uma maionese muito especial. Sausage, potato, straw, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, special sauce. Vocês estão vendo mayonnaise. aí que special o negócio sauce, é objetivo. Parece ser sim. É exclusivo. É realmente... Um prensado de verdade e não um prensado comum. O prensado do Paulista. Absolutamente. Direto de São Paulo, aqui It's no Rio de Janeiro. Aqui. A gente foi o primeiro a trazer o prensado. Aí se espalhou, né? O pessoal começou. Só começou a ver o que dava certo e começou a fazer igual a gente aí. Diretamente de Sorocaba aí, o cara trouxe... É, de Sorocaba. Baixando o Rio das Pedras, né? É isso daí. Paulista, They're gonna start. Galera, They're gonna start, sabe, guys. Rio de Janeiro. Aí. Rio das Pedras, Paulista aí com o primeiro aí que lançou esse prensado. E vamos lá, vamos ver essa barraca aí sensacional que o Paulista trouxe. Vamos lá. Vamos lá, galera do canal Papo de Comida. Exclusividade, oh, wow. o pão aqui é do próprio That Paulista. Like shit. <risos> é feito aqui. Especial. Especial. É. Como vocês já sabem, o canal Papo de Comida já vem com aquele outro jargão. Quem sabe faz ao vivo. E vamos lá. Olha aqui o esquema com aquele molho especial. I fucking hate this music. This is the music they use on TikTok. Galera, aqui, it's a fucking do Rio get around Rio. goddamn direto aí de São uh, Paulo. Like copyright shit. Vamos lá, rápido objetivo. Aquele lanche aí que você volta do trabalho, da escola. E não tenho dúvida que é aquele lanche ignorante, galera. Olha aí, aquela What maionese, o ketchup aí. Esse é o molho, galera. Oh my Esse pão aqui direto God. da fábrica aqui do Paulista, que vocês já viram aí no vídeo anterior. Vamos pra chapa. É isso Jesus daí, galera. Foi pra chapa agora. Velocidade, garoto. Aqui, ó. Aficionar, olha o que eu vou fazer. Aqui é a pressão. Aqui é a Jesus Christ. Deixa eu falar, prensada a montagem dele, olha lá, galera. A velocidade, porque eu, na verdade eu não tinha tanto conhecimento, comi uma vez ou outra, só que eu não comi um prensado de verdade. Ultimamente eu tenho comido prensado cada vez, mas eu vou me surpreendendo. Olha isso, galera, douradinho, douradinho. Daqui a pouco tá na minha. Especial pão aí, ó. É, every every time horas aqui, I see Brazilian com, com fucking pensado, food, it's yeah, always yeah. amazing. <laughs> And I don't doubt that Brazil <laughs> has good food. I'm just saying all the food that Olha makes isso. its way to me looks like a fucking freak show. So that can that's it, that's the whole fucking so thing. That that's the whole fucking thing. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Oh man. Shit. I fucking love this.
Why does he look like that? Why he's got no texture? Here we will explore true facts about the sea Fuck pig. Fuck yeah, the sea pig! Here is a picture of a land pig. As you can see, they are virtually indistinguishable from the sea pig. One way to tell the difference is that bacon from a land pig tastes delicious, while bacon from a sea pig tastes like a fish farted on a dirty beach cracker. Another way is to simply ask it whether it's a sea pig. If when you ask your mouth fills up with seawater, then you're probably an idiot. Because the sea pig lives deep in the abyss of the ocean. I don't live in the ocean. The sea pig is a type of sea cucumber. This is stock video of a sea cucumber, which has been downloaded one time by me. This is a picture of a land cucumber. As you can see, they're right. virtually identical. If you get confused, check to see if your cucumber is breathing through its anus. It's because not. unlike land cucumbers, sea cucumbers breathe through That's their true, anuses. They breathe through their butthole. As you might have guessed, this is no ordinary run-of-the-mill commonplace anus. Sea cucumbers have a cloaca. Think of it as a multi-purpose orifice for breathing, pooping, baiting, and any other orifice-related needs you might have. Convenient. Not what I would have chosen personally. I'm quite happy with my arrangement. I'm a man who likes a bit of distance between the breathing and the pooping, but no judgments. As my mother used to say, a hole is a hole. Well, wow, in this context, that really sounds pretty bad. Retraction. In any case, the many uses of the cloaca did not escape the pearl fish, which has formed a symbiotic relationship with the sea cucumber. It hides inside the sea cucumber's butt, where it feeds and gains protection. The sea cucumber, meanwhile, has a fish in its butt. When win. Seem... The sea cucumber has that a remarkable defensive it adaptation. When attacked, it violently contracts its muscles and jettisons its internal respiratory organs out of its anus in a process known as evisceration. Needless to say, the predator becomes confused. To understand this, imagine that you are getting marked. Enter the video. In response, you pull your pants down. Yeah, I don't know why it's actually, like that. Hold on. This... You're super right. Why is it like that? I don't know why. Oh, what the hell? It's like, oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I can fix this. I can fix it. I can fix it. Give me a second. I fucking nailed it. Look how much better that is. I did it. This really helps. Further down in the depths, the little understood sea pig uses hydraulic pumps that inflate its legs full of water as it marches on the ocean floor in search of detritus and captions? whale carcasses okay. to eat. Because it is so mushy mushy, the sea people. pig is a host Wait. of parasites like small snails and crustaceans which Death burrow people. into it and feed on its insides. Bummer. Fortunately, the sea pig doesn't really have a brain, so it Probably doesn't care. I Remember, hate the ocean, if by the someone way. scares you, I hope just bend knows over that and I hate fart the your ocean. lungs all over that bastard. Who knows? It might just work. I don't care. As my mother used to nature. say, "Don't poke that pig, boy." In this context, don't it poke works it. perfectly. See, pig. Sea pig. Don't poke my pig boy. All right, what do we got? I'd just like to take a moment to give a shout out to Stan Lee, who is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good, man. I don't even need to see the rest. I don't even need a to see the rest. field trip I have ever been on. Oh, I remember this. Life. They took us to a fucking cotton processing place. <laughs> and there was a big ass cotton field out in the middle of fucking Rayma, Alabama, in the south of Montgomery County. We went there, and me and 28 other little nigglets in Miss Harper's third grade classroom, they took our asses out there in the middle of the fucking August heat and said, hey, y'all, they gave us bags and shit. Like little cute little plastic bags. <laughs> 
with a cute, with a cotton puff person with a smile on his face. And they're like, hey, y'all go out, y'all go out there, have fun, pick as much cotton as you want. And so I, my stupid ass went, you know? I went. My mama signed off on it and didn't think about it. And I went to the fucking field trip. I did the field just having a good old time. We were singing songs and shit in the middle of the motherfucking field. Picking goddamn cotton in the middle of the fucking heat. And then, you know, I'm thinking, because it's a field trip, they told us you can pick as much as you want. Hey, you get to keep the fucking guy. You can keep it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it. And we go, go to get back on the bus. They're like, all right, kids, turn your bags in. <laughs> and they take our asses inside and took all the damn cotton that we had and then told us to get back on the fucking bus. So me being a little rebel, I took a handful of cotton, stuffed it in my pocket, and went home. Then my mama came when she was doing laundry the next night. She was like, what the fuck? Is this cotton in your back pocket? I was like, yeah, where the hell did you get unprocessed raw cotton from? <laughs> well, yesterday on that field trip, they took us to a, a cotton processing plant, and we got to pick cotton all day long. <laughs> My mama came to the school, and I swear to God, that shit went down. She locked this woman in a room like... How dare you jive-ass motherfuckers take my kids and all these other ashy little Negroes to a fucking cotton field in the middle of the summer. You fucking soulless bitch. She fucking checked me out of school. I didn't go to school for three days buying that shit. She said, I don't want to have to look at that bitch. She was pissed at everybody. Yes, that was the most racist shit I've ever gone through oh in my life. God. I didn't even understand what was wrong until that the next year. That fucking story's so good. I didn't even understand. <laughs> I just thought we were just gonna go have some fun in the field. Oh <laughs> my God. That shit. That was fucking shit cropping if I ever seen it. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm about to recheck. What kind of fucking... So, uh, somebody in the chat said that they also had to do that in Alabama. And... What the fuck kind of bullshit is a field trip where you send the kids to just do a bunch of unpaid fucking labor? What is, what the fuck is that? Like, when I was a kid, I went to two field trips uh, in, in elementary school that would qualify for this. I went to um, an apple orchard in which we got to pick a couple apples each and take the apples home. But we mainly just hung out on the or on the orchard and like petted cows and pigs and shit. And then I went to like a, a fucking a monastery where they made fancy cheese. The Oka, the Oka monastery. And then they gave us some cheese, which was like such a fucking stupid idea. Cause I don't know. I don't know if you guys have ever had Oka cheese. Oka cheese is great as an adult. It reeks like shit. It reeks like fucking shit. And it is way too strong for kids. Like, way too fucking strong. So, they're like, hey kids, have a bunch of cheese. Eat it in front of the monks. And every one of us was just like, Bleh! Fuck. It smells like shit. I'd go to Oka now, though. That, that place is cool. Anyway, back to me watching a VTuber. Is this Tenma? Why do you Is this a toilet? Oh, that's a murder. That's a murder van. Bingo gave me a kashupa yesterday, and I'll leave it. Wait! Honki You gave me an Akashupa yesterday! Do you want what the me fuck to is an Akashupa? What the fuck is an Akashupa? And why don't I have an Akashupa? Oh fuck! It's a red super chat! Fuck! Fuck! Because Akka means red. Fuck. I hate. Oh. 
I hate the subtitler. It should be Aka Super. The subtitler has conspired to trick me. Bingo-san, do you want me to give you back the Aka Super? Wait! Bingo-san, I did not know you live like this, bitch! You live like this! Why would you give me Aka Super if you live like this? You bitch! I'll give you back your Aka Super. Yeah, I know, seriously. No. Hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, straight up. If you live in a van with a with a shovel and, like, a bucket toilet, uh, fucking... You, you, you don't need to subscribe, okay? Alright? I want to make that super clear. Okay? Just... Alright. And so the world new chess championship begins. Kasparov makes the- Amaranthos, you better not oinking fucking live down the river. And Mr. Generic Oink, don't you live by the river also? Okay. All right. Have I seen the newest chess cheating scandal? Yeah, you use a you need you use an ass plug to fucking power through moves through your asshole. First move. That's the classic Rasputin opening. How will Short respond? He's chosen the Jonathan response. The humperdinck shrug from Kasparov, quick as you like. Now, Short appears to be inverting his rule. Oh. And that, yes, yet yeah, that's had the desired effect. He's confused Kasparov's pieces there. Some of them wondering if gravity's been reversed. One of the pawns has fainted. You people are sick. You people are fucked up. Okay? I legitimately don't understand you at all. Okay? First of all... I hope if you live in a van down by the river... That it's a nice river. And second of all, I don't want to see nobody subscribing to me and giving me cause to go, bitch, you live like this. I was just talking to Paige about women liking bed frames and shit. Bed frames are not important. Girls will tell you it's important, but they're not. Only Xbox. By the way, Crocsai uh, gifted 50 subs. Thanks, Crocsai. I really appreciate it. That is... 10 oinks. Hmm. How many subs until Piggy? You know what? I should put that on the screen. I should put that on the screen. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. <clears throat> so, uh, 50 gift subs, what is that? That's oink, 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 oink. 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 And you know what? You get another. You, you get another one for fun. You know you'll get an eleventh one. Fine. Fuck it. You get an eleventh if you get. Oink. If only the pad of two thousand could see me now. I'd probably wonder how I got fat, and the answer is cookies. Slut era, I say, as I oink for money and pick food out of my beard.
<laughs> oh. Hey, Queequeg, clean your fucking... So, Queequeg just sent me a photo of his desk. Uh, and was like, I live, I literally live like this. Uh, and it looks fine, except throw the fucking cans away. Your fucking shit is just covered in trash. Throw your fucking cans in the recycling... Take the recycling out. That's it. That's all you gotta do. No? Okay, well, I mean, I can't make you. But that room looks fine. You just need to fucking move the 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 quans. Oh, a bishop there, vomiting out of pure confusion. So a good move there, from Short. Short again. He's made one of his knights into a unicorn, so obviously playing the long game. Kasparov there, slipping a spy into Short's ranks. It's looking like Short's bishops are having a disagreement about same-sex relations. Yes, yes, I can confirm it, there is a schism in his church. So, half of his bishops have created the reformed church of the truth of Christ this is how and Lord, works. and will be leaving. Still, diagonally, some traditions die hard. Kasparov? Kasparov trying to convert one of his rooks into a unicorn, uh, that hasn't worked at all. And that bell means it's Christmas. Isn't that beautiful, they're playing football in the middle. Ah, that's Christmas over. Shorts left to take down the decorations. Kasparov is conglomerating his pawns into a mega chessatron. Fuck yeah! It's not looking good for Short. Short's upgrading his queen to a hotel. Oh, um, very interesting. Kasparov's queen has been revealed to be an imitation, played very convincingly by Helen Mirren. She has won an Oscar there. But she will have to leave. She can, of course, leave in any direction she likes. Short. Getting up on the chair, what's he? Lovely swing there. Kasparov. Full house. Short. Royal flush. Mrs. Bunda Baker. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah! And oh, oh, this is extraordinary. Kasparov is pissing all over the board. Uh, but will he have the pressure to slew Short's King away? Yes, yes, he's done it. Kasparov is the new world, new chess champion. So well done there uh, to Kasparov and his capacious blander. Incredible. And, uh, commiserations, of course. Incredible. To Welcome to 18th Century Cooking. I'm your host, John Townsend, and today we're doing a. Oh, you know, I'm going to save this because page one, watch this one. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Um, amazingly, Halo 4 is not only a success, but a bar-raising triumph <laughs> for the first, for the entire first-person shooter genre. He's right, genre. You know. oh, He is right. Mm, Doritos. Mm. And just how new developer 343 Industries was What's really depressing is that you know how Bonnie delight. Ross left uh, for a family and medical emergency. You. Apparently, it, she was it not in fact leaving due to a family medical emergency. It has mm. been surmised CG that it was in fact her that being will flat out knock you on your ass for mm. tanking the halo. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 No! Oh, 10 out of 10. Oh, Halo. Game of yeah, the Year. Yeah, that's Halo. Yep. Do you wish your dog was immortal? Immortal dog! Your dog is... It's easy to kill. Cars, bombs, dog traps. These aren't secrets. All of these things can and will kill your dog. Or dog. No. Your family can't afford to clone your dog. Cloning is for white people only. That's why you oh, need to no. make your dog immortal. Hurry, 
Here's what you do. Send us his paw. Go ahead, send them. Scissors! We'll grind up his feet and make a special drink. It just turns clear when we send it. Do not drink it. Just Don't drink it, buddy. He won't want to drink it. Make him thirsty. Well, give him the juice. Oh, now he wants it. Put him in a box while he sleeps for five dog weeks. Dog five dog weeks? Oh, my God. The box. Ignore what it says. Then immortal dog. Your dog is hep. His breathing He's breathing. Is loud. He's loud. He's the There's the sun. I'm blinking. deep in the forest. He'll be in your car. Your car. By the time, by the time you get back, back. trust you now for only one hundred and fifty dollars. You fucking kidding me, you mortal dog? Are you fucking kidding me, man's best friend? Forever. Are you immortal, dog, buddy? Let's. I want to point out that was actually really hard to do. Keep big fat boy in my lap that whole time. <sighs> Immortal dog. Pizza is the only machine in the world capable uh. of making healthy and genuine pizzas using entirely fresh ingredients. Once you have chosen your desired pizza among the choice available, is that a pizza fucking is pizza needed, robot? Rolled out, topped, cooked, and served, starting with the water and flour in less than three minutes. Let's Pizza offers a choice among four different types of flavors that can be chosen each time from a wide menu with an overall autonomy of 90 pizzas. The system of payment accepts coins and banknotes. I don't know if this is provides fake. change and is compatible with other payment systems such as vending keys, tokens, or other means. Once payment and the choice of pizza has been made, Let's Pizza mixes the water and flour, and begins kneading. Wait, it's gonna make the goddamn bread? The How resulting long does this dough, fucking take? untouched by human hands, is then pressed and rolled out to create a 27 centimeter diameter disc shape. Three minutes? You can make a pizza, let alone bread, in three minutes? At this stage, the oven begins preheating, and the topping process begins. First the tomato is added, and then the pizza is topped, according to the customer's choice. Leavening is instantaneous, and occurs in the oven. This looks like shit! And in less than two minutes, the pizza is already in the oven. As you can see, the pizza was prepared. Here. You can be 
a saint, or you can be a Grinch. Those are your two choices. Choose wisely. So what's it gonna be, huh? Huh? A saint? Or a Grinch? You got me. You got me with it. Okay. We just and water and then Yeah, and put put water in a bowl. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. I have to explain to Paige. Put lukewarm water in yeah. a bowl. Yeah. You want to get it as close to your body temperature as possible. Right. Then you're gonna jam it in as far as it'll go in your ear. No, I'm serious. Don't like, don't like, uh, right? But like slowly. I thought, oh no, I thought you were gonna be like jamming in my ass. No, you, you should probably explain what I'm doing. Well, then just hand it to me. Well, no, because it's no, no. Paige wants to clean her ears out, and I'm trying to explain to her how to use an ear cleaner. I thought you were gonna make a joke. So anyway, okay. anyway, yeah, and then I, I pull you, it you up. put it as far as it'll go in your ear, right. like snugify it, and then just slowly push the whole the whole thing out okay you're gonna want to tilt your head over a sink or be in okay. the shower if or something I, like if that if i like scream now Paige, look at me okay, look well, at me i'm looking okay I'm this looking. is really important yes, okay i'm looking you're gonna want to use lukewarm water yeah and you're want to grab a hold of the of the the sink while you do this okay because if the water is too hot or too cold you'll get dizzy and you may fall over. I'll just I'll just sit on the floor. Yeah, just sit I'll on just the sit. just sit on the floor. I'll just sit. Okay. This is a good shower thing. Then I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 text you if I get sick. Bye. Sorry. I'm I'm so fucking convinced. I'm absolutely 100% convinced. I'm going to hear in like like four minutes california says just use a q-tip uh i want to take a second to point out do not use a q-tip on your ear a q-tip is the worst thing you can do for your earwax that's how you get impacted shit They just push the wax in. Oh, okay.
That's great. Can't escape from pots and pans. Dine and dash. First regret. Yay! Make it the doctor said six months. The clock says 90 That's seconds. That's great! First showdown. Begin. I love this one. Earth is broken. World is a fuck. Chapter one. Fight. Fight. You ain't from Michigan if you ain't done this before. First showdown. Let's get this money. Diplomacy has failed. The cell phone of destiny is close. First showdown. Eat shit. The spokes of the wheel of fate have been replaced. Don't disappoint. That one's actually first class. So close. Right. There's nothing to eat in the fridge. You know what that means. First try. Struggle. Earth is broken. Send the invoice to God. First showdown. Go in shit. You're cancelled. The fastest sinner will edit the text. Mission one. Spill the tea, sis. This party's getting crazy. God forgive us all. First conflict. It's your boy. Altercation engaged seventh Sunday. You know I had to do it to him. You know it. This mission has to be carried out by the numbers. We have 15 minutes. No more, no less. Huh? Dive! 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 Hit your fighters, pilot! That was a little too close. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected. Tenho visto coisa bonita nesse mundo. Yo, this looks cool. Tenho visto churrasco bem feito. Eu doce de banana. Doce de doce de banana. Olha aqui. Olha outra grelha. Vamos olhando essas grelhas aqui. Vocês não imaginam. Vocês não imaginam. E this looks cool. Tá louco. Tu tá louco. Tenho visto coisa linda na minha vida, olha. Look at that fucking street poder, shit. Poder compartilhar com esses momentos. Muito obrigado. That looks great. Tá lindo isso aí, hein? Olha lá. Que dupla, hein? Tá louco. Yeah, multiple different people sent me a bunch of Brazilian cooking stuff. Clegg? Yo, Clegg. Which one of you is Clegg? Who is Clegg? Are you Clegg? Campfire stories! <laughs> Those guys from the military! Whoa. I just had the most amazing dream. Don't share. I got a medal from President Kimball himself. <laughs> Wow, that sounds great. Actually, and you know he'd be do a real dick move about it too, where he'd leave the little dammits out of the back <laughs> yeah. of it and just punch it into your sternum really hard. I'm making fun of him, but when I got promoted to corporal, I teared up a little bit, so I can't say wow. anything. You do that when you got promoted to sergeant, did you tear up a little bit? I never got promoted to sergeant. I was a specialist the whole time. <laughs> well, when you got promoted to specialist, did you tear up? No, not really, because I was just so dejected about <laughs> life at that point. I was just like, whatever, let's all, just get this over with. All of your hopes and dreams had been crushed. I did tear up a little bit when I got promoted to PFC, but then when I got promoted from PFC <laughs> to uh, specialist, I was just like, this is just an automatic promotion and I don't care. <laughs> Oh, your your promotion to uh, specialist was automatic. Promotion from E one to E two to E three and to E four are all automatic. All of your promotions from E one to E four came after time and service, and that's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have okay. to work for them. I I understand that. I actually had to work for a corporal. That's not just time and service. Oh yeah, no. A bunch of things got factored in for me. Military proficiency, all the studying I did. I actually had to work for a If I had gotten promoted to sergeant, I probably would have been relatively pleased about that. But you have to get points to get promoted. To sergeant? Yes, to get promoted to sergeant. At the time, the amount of promotion points you needed was 798. Is really? that a lot? The maximum is 800. <laughs> Because apparently the army had decided that they had too many 45 Bravo sergeants. 
okay. and they didn't need any more. <laughs> so they increased the amount of points you had to get in order to get promoted to sergeant. In order for me to get 798 promotion points? points, I would have had to have taken eight years of college, <laughs> maxed out my PT test, mm -hmm. scored perfectly on rifle qualification God. and pistol qualification and machine gun qualification and grenade qualification. Also, max out my PT test again. Basically, there was no way for me to get 798 promotion points unless I was in the military for eight years. If you changed your job from that MOS to a different MOS, would the score be lower? You could get to sergeant if you changed your job? Yeah, but then I would have had to go back to a job school. And you loved your job so much. Well, and I actually enjoyed doing my job. So basically, they couldn't promote me to sergeant. Yes. They just couldn't because I didn't have enough promotion points. They were like, there's there's no way we can promote you to sergeant, but we'll promote you to corporal instead. And I was like, no, thank you. I don't want something that is the exact same pay grade <laughs> you with were, no respect whatsoever. You were already a specialist, and they were offering to promote you sideways. It's not an upgrade. Yes. It's, just it's not an upgrade at all. I don't get paid anymore, and now I have twice the responsibilities. <laughs> because I'm in charge of a squad of idiots who, because they're pissed off at me because I made them stay late and help me do stuff, they decided not to shave that morning so I get in trouble. I can't believe you didn't take them up on that offer. Yeah, they tried to promote me several times. They also tried to send me to Warrior Leaders Course, which the Warrior Leaders Course you know, is something the American else that military you can do to get more promotion like points. Run very well. And it's two months. It's like going through basic training again. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's two months of living in very small barracks and having to march everywhere and not being able to drive your car and have to go to classes you and also go to your normal job it. because you can't go out of your normal job while you're in Warrior Leaders course. So they tried like six times to send me to Warrior Leaders course and I said, no, I'm not going. And they said, well, we're going to give you a counseling if you don't go. And I said, fine, I'll fill it out. So I filled out the counseling and wrote, I'm not going to Warrior Leaders course. <laughs> I already have to fix an entire battalion's worth of weapons. Do you really want me leaving for two months? And then they sent it to the battalion commander. And the battalion commander went, why are you trying to write him up? <laughs> After the fourth time, I didn't fill out the counseling that they told me I had to fill out. And I just didn't go. Didn't go to Warrior Leaders course. Okay. One of the other people that was in my platoon that went to Warriors Leaders course because his promotion points were at 95. He could get his promotion so points for farting. <laughs> he went to the Warriors Leaders course and they were doing roll and they were like, Specialist Zach, where the fuck is Specialist Zach? And he's like, he didn't show up. <laughs> they expected you to be there? Yeah, they expected me to be there. And I just didn't go. Somebody in my chain of command was like, Zach, why didn't you report to Warrior Leaders Corps? And I was like, because I had a bunch of guns to fix. <laughs> That's always your fallback excuse. That was literally always my fallback because I was the only small arms repairman. <laughs> it's like if you got hired to work at a Jiffy Lube and then everybody that worked at the Jiffy Lube wasn't there anymore and you're the only person and they still expect you to go to your other job and work at Jiffy Lube. Well, I guess I'm only working at Jiffy Lube because I'm the only person here. <laughs> So did you end up getting promoted to sergeant? No, I never got promoted to sergeant. <laughs> Can't insult to injury. A <laughs> couple years after I got out of the military, I was teaching small arms repair in Virginia to the military as a civilian. Was that a nicer gig? Oh, it was so much better. <laughs> Show up yeah. for work. Didn't have to stay late because somebody screwed up. <laughs> did it make you feel better that you would wake up as a civilian, go to the military, look at all of these military personnel having the life sucked out of them oh have, man having to sit in a class taught by you and then you would get to leave and go home oh man it was great <laughs> and as a short aside i did tell everyone that came through my class pray to god you don't get sent to fort Polk, louisiana <laughs> you were warning pray them to god and then <laughs> one week they came back and one of them just had the most so it's really funny to me that the when we watched the video last time and he mentions Fort Polk, Indiana, a place that I had never heard of in my entire life, I looked over into the chat and saw some guy in all caps screaming out, Man, Fort Polk's a fucking shithole. Was that Queequeg? It might have been. But like, oh good. Fucking great. Louis, oh man, good. Great. Good, good to get that nice feedback. Ejected look on his face. I said, <laughs> what's wrong? And he goes, I'm getting sent to Fort Polk. And I was just like, you are never going to re-enlist. And he's like, that's exactly what the sergeant said when he told me that I was getting sent to Fort Polk. <laughs> I love it.
well, that's the thing that everybody says. It's the, it's the most horrible place ever. Anyway, I was talking to one of the E4s about, don't worry about doing well on your PT test because you're never going to get promoted to sergeant. No. And he was like, yeah, I will. And I was like, no, you won't. Promotion points are like 798 for that. <laughs> And he was like, no, I'm getting promoted to sergeant as soon as I leave from here, because the promotion points are, like, at 93. God. Do you think it was in a different job? No, because after I got out of the military, <laughs> apparently no, no, no. all of the small arms repairmen got out of the military because they couldn't <laughs> get promoted to sergeant. The army went, holy crap, we need E5 small arms repairmen. Reduce the promotion points down to 95 and get them up there. <laughs> The army is constantly doing this thing where they say, we have too many E5s, make the promotion points maximum. All the E5s get out, and then the army goes, we don't have any E5s, small arms repairmen. Just drop the promotion points down to zero. If one of them farts in formation, make him oh an E5. God. That's so stupid. Do you think you could have gotten a sergeant if that were the case? If the promotion points were oh, 98? Easily. Yeah. Yeah. You never considered yourself to be an exemplary soldier, though. No, but at least then I may have gotten some respect from other NCOs when they came down to get their weapons fixed. <laughs> Instead of them looking at me and going, he's a specialist, he doesn't know anything. Then yeah. maybe I would have had some NCOs go, oh, you're also an NCO. I got your back, bro. Let me help you fix these guns. Well, in the Marine Corps, E4s were NCOs, too. So if you had joined the Marine Corps, you might have gotten a little more respect, too. Yeah, but if I joined the Marine Corps, I would have been a 2111. And? And I would have had to fix smaws. Marines get cooler stuff. <laughs> I should have went to the Marines. <laughs> yeah, I figure you should join the Marine Corps because you got to go big or go home, right? No, I joined the Army because my grandpa was in the Army. Well, so was mine, but, but I'm, I'm better than my grandpa. That's just kidding. He was a World War II vet. I respect yeah, him greatly. The greatest generation. Yes. We are way off topic We're here. so far off topic now. I don't know where you're going to put that audio. I'll just have that entire long story while we're staring at Corporal Clay. <laughs> Cut all of this out. This is all pointless. <laughs> no, this is Corporal a good story. Clay, I, Come on, I man. wanted to talk to you, maybe learn what your point of view was, but I'm so tired now. I need to go take a nap. We'll be back tomorrow. That's great. I've only met two guys that were in the Canadian military, and they were both completely fucking nuts. The, o the only one... The only guy I ever Clay? had, like, a long conversation with who was in the Canadian Armed Forces, um, I met when I was 15 at a party with other 15-year-olds, and he was, like, 22. And I was like, why are you here? He's like, my friends are here. I'm like, who? And they just started talking about how into murder he was. That dude was Yo, a psycho. Clegg. Which one of you is? Still look forward to working with you, John. I mean that. You want a coffee? Well, I don't know. Fucking crack. <laughs> These edits are incredible. We don't run, it's embarrassing.
Yeah, I follow this Twitter account. They're great. this fucking Mr. thing. Mr. Allen? Right. I believe that I believe that your case If you haven't seen it. Was going to be if you haven't going seen to trial, this. Not this Monday, but the following Monday. Do you understand that? Yes. Uh... Okay. I tell you, if you need to tell me something, I want I'll let you come up here to the podium so you can speak into the microphone and I can hear you. Yes, uh, the attorney here, I'm wanting to fire him. Uh-huh. And, you know, I don't feel like he's doing any... Who are you going to... Who are you going to hire? I'm not going to hire nobody. I'm going to try to get a different public defender. There, there isn't... You have a right to an attorney. This lawyer has... You don't have a right to a specific attorney. This lawyer yes, has this made sexual real court advances transcript. on me. He, well, he's mis misrepresenting my case. He told me if... If I wanted him to do a good job, I had to let him give me oral sex. He's had doctors at Central State Hospital put a He's false... He's had doctors at Central State Hospital? Put a false diagnosis on me. Okay. Um, I, I don't... You, you know, I know Mr. Wyatt pretty well, and I don't think he has the ability to make doctors at Central State do anything. Well, they did it, and he's the one that had me sit down there. Well, you know, they may have done it, but I don't think that... And he had anything to do with it. All right, well, he won't give me the discovery. He, well, There's I'm... things in discovery he's supposed to give me the incident and told me that, that it was the discovery. Okay. They're alternating okay. documents that I've if read. You, if you want... If you want the indictment, I'll make sure you get a copy of the indictment. No, I'm saying I got the indictment, uh -huh. but he's not complying with discovery. Okay. I'm supposed to get the autopsy report, the coroner report, pictures of the crime scene. Cor Coroner report? Criminal background records. I want. Is this, a no is this a murder? In the county jail. Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to get the criminal background records, investigational summaries. Mr. Wyatt, what discovery do you have? I've given him everything I have. You've given him everything you have? Yes, sir. He's given you everything. This is a murder case, and you're. Huh? This is a murder case, and you're telling me the only thing on discovery is a four page indictment? I don't think he's saying that. I think he's saying he's given you everything he has. He ain't given me no autopsy report. He ain't given me no coroner's report. He ain't given well, me. Well, it may be that he. He doesn't have that. I don't know. That's what I've been trying to get. He didn't give me n pictures of the crime scene. I've seen other people go to trial on murder charges. I've seen what you're supposed to get. I'm not going to work with this attorney. Well, you know, you it's you, not it's not gonna happen. You've got you've got I'm not going to trial with this attorney. Well, you've got two choices. One, you can go to trial with them, or two, you can try the case yourself. Okay, so this is so I had originally doubted that this was real. Until I heard this, because the next part is the part where every time I've ever seen a judge say this, they say pretty much the exact same thing every time. Now, I definitely completely think that's... And I've got a right to have... Wait a minute. Listen to me. That would be the biggest mistake you've ever made in your life. So basically, you're sitting here telling me... Now, you you're have a... find me guilty if... I if I go to trial and try to defend myself, you're probably right. That would be my guess if you try to defend yourself. You 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 don't know anything about selecting a jury, do you? No. Do you know anything about cross-examining witnesses? No. Do you know anything about criminal procedure? I know I don't have to let. Do you know anything? I'm... This guy suck my. F let, 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 let me... To get let, some let me, legal representation. You know something? I'll be honest, Mr. Allen. I really don't believe that. Well, I'm not... I'm not concerned if you believe it or not. I... You... But no, I'm, I'm I, supposed to... I'm supposed to have a right to an attorney, that, and I'm not gonna work with this attorney. Well, that's up to you. So I hold myself in contempt if you try to pull me up here to court with that attorney. That... That's fine. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, you... I, I told you what your choices are. You can go to trial. I'm, I'm just telling I'll, you. Listen well, to me. I'll hold myself into contempt. Listen to me. F you. Listen to me. Go f yourself. I'm through here. Y'all done? Uh, I'm 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 finding I'm finding you in contempt of court. I don't care. I, I know you don't. And I sentence you to 20 days for that. And and if you say I want to point out, I really the my so the, about the the case, he's citing him 20 days in contempt of court. The guy's on trial for murdering another inmate in the county jail where he was picked up on a different crime. 
Dude, your your fucking contempt charge doesn't mean shit. Like the dude's going away forever. Anything else? The rudest person I think I've you ever reckon, met. You reckon if I let you suck my d that I could get a fair trial here? Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. I got a big d now, and and if I pull it out, I don't think that's gonna get you a fair trial unless you have I'm done. every one of the jurors do it. I don't think that mouth is big enough, sir. I've got a big old donkey. D you know, I'm sure mine's. I'm sure mine's not. I've got a big old donkey d for that ass. Good. I'm sure the women love it. I don't f girls. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. I f boys. Oh, I'm sorry. You prefer men. I f boys. You prefer men, right? I f white, white boys. You, oh, oh, white or black? White boys. Oh, butt boys? With big butts. Oh, of course. You know, y you look like a queer. Well, okay, so now you're calling me a queer in the courtroom? I didn't call you one. I said you looked like one. You're yelling. Do you understand the li English language? <laughs> Wait, you're yelling. You're laughing. Do you understand the English language? This is, this, this is kangaroo court, sir. Do you, you know what? No, we're not in <laughs> Australia. I mean, if you want to <laughs> suck my d you can do it any time now. We can oh, get this court you're, order. Oh, you're so smart. Do we have to court order this? You're so funny. You're so cute. Can we get a court order to get my d sucked, sir? You're so cute. I know all the inmates just love you to death. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. All the white butt boys love me to death, too. Okay, well, I I'll bet they do, and I bet all the rest of them do, too. You ain't supposed to smile in court. I'll bet everybody enjoys sucking your you ain't supposed to be smiling in court. That's a violation. I can smile anytime I dadgum want to. Now you're yelling at me again. I am. I'm yelling. You're getting mad. Can you hear me? You're shaking. I am yelling at you. Well, reckon you can suck my d Yelling. Can you take a break? Yelling. Can you take a break? I'm yelling at you. Can you take a break? Yelling. Can I get my d sucked? Can you hear me? Yelling. Can I get my d sucked? Yelling. Yelling. Are you ready to suck now? Have you got it all out? You know something? You will, but you want me to f you in the butt then, right? Oh my goodness, you've got plenty of that over in jail. I could see it in you when I came in the courtroom. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna be here on- <laughs> Let me tell you how this is gonna work. You're gonna you be- You ain't gonna tell me shit. Listen. Suck my d Shut up, listen to me. Suck my d you f man. Listen. Suck my d You will be here in the court on Monday. You'll be here sucking my d You will listen to me now. Go f yourself. Okay, I'm going to tell you how this is gonna work. Y you either listen or not. I don't care. I'm through. Can I, ha can I leave the courtroom? No. No, you've got to stay here. No, I'm not talking to the bastard. We are going to have the trial Monday week. No. The f we are. I ain't going to trial with this lawyer present. Listen, if you do not- Suck my d you stinking ass cracker. If you act like this, if you act like this, I will send you out of the courtroom. Old bitch ass cracker. Leave you out of the courtroom during trial during the trial. Horse ass cracker. Do you understand Horse that? Horse ass sucking ass. Do you understand Big that? Butt. Do you understand Man that? Man ass cracker. Do you understand that? Getting mad, ain't you? Stupid. Oh, red face. Listen. Now you're calling me stupid. Listen. Yes, I am. This is kangaroo court. You know what? You have the you have a constitutional right to be a dumbass. Why don't you jump up on the stand? You and, have a constitutional jump right like to be a, a dumbass. kangaroo. You dumb bastard. Well, if you suck my. I if ain't you, listening you, to nothing you say. Come in here Monday and weekend. How about this? I'll kill your whole family. And when I get in this trial, I'll murder your whole family. I'll cut your children up into pieces. I'll knock their brains out with a f***ing hammer and feed them are, to you. Are, are you t are you taking this down? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to refer you to the district attorney's office. I don't give a f who you're referring I, to. I'm just telling I you. I thought you were referring to my mother man. Uh, aggravated. Aggravated assault. Terroristic threats. And, and we'll just add to it. I don't give a f I will murder you, your whole family, your kids. I am not supposed to be in jail. I was framed. That mother asked me to eat his ass for a bag of coffee. Well, and now you know, you're telling me that I've got, I got to, I, I got to go to trial with this man over here. You're obviously He's probably a pedophile. You're obviously fixated on butts and. Huh? I'm fixated on your mouth. No, you're fixated on butts oh, and. You got a nasty mouth, sir. Oh, oh, I, I have an awful mouth. You have a big old fat mouth. I do. You gotta have a big old mouth to get this. In it. I sure do. All right. Yep. I'm proud of it. I'll make sure the next time I I come to court, I... I'll pull it out and jack on you. Okay. Well, why don't you do that right now? I jack on white boys. Uh, well, why don't you do that right now? Just like I jack on females. Do it right now. I can't do it now. Do it now. I ain't got. I, ain't got butt. I don't care. Take off the cuffs. How many hands do you have to have to do Take it? Take off the cuffs. Come on. No, no. <laughs> jack off. This is kangaroo court. Come on. Jack off. This is this is kangaroo court. Jack off right now. Are y'all getting this? Yeah, they're getting it. I'm 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 gonna <laughs> make sure this guy done called me stupid. This mother. Dunn told me he was gonna suck my d I did not say that. You wanted me to f him in the butt. I did not say uh, that either. Yeah, you're you're a real, real nasty ass judge. I this am is... indeed, and you're going to find out now, how nasty I really am. You'll find out how nasty I am when I murder your whole family, bitch. Okay, that's fine. You know, you'll be in jail so long you won't have a chance. The babies will be going, Daddy, Daddy, help me. I'm just gonna go, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to knock their brains out with the f 
hammer. <laughs> okay, well, you know, if I had any kids, you'd probably be able to do that. But since I don't have any, it doesn't really matter. Well, I'll get your nieces, your nephews, your sisters. It doesn't really matter. I don't have any of those either. Grandkids. I don't have any of those either. Aunties, uh, aunts. How can I have grandkids if I don't have any kids? Brothers, sisters. Stupid. You know, you, you're you just completely, completely have no idea of the English language. You're not going to suck my d sir. I don't. I don't want to be here. Okay, I, I've enjoyed this. I hope you have. I know everybody else in the courtroom has enjoyed it, but you can go now. And if, All right, well, if I, on Monday week this happens again, you will not stay in the courtroom. Suck my d sir. Okay. I'm subpoenaing y'all's ass in the courtroom. There's something really incredible about, like, okay, you're in jail for an unrelated crime. You murder somebody in jail. You're screaming. You're screaming to suck my dick, etc. And then when it starts to turn even worse, I will kill your whole family. I will beat out your kids' brains with a hammer. Dude, you're... Dude, you're never... Never. Never. Leaving the fucking court. The jail. Never. Never. You're, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna have fun in the prison. And you didn't jack off right now. Pled guilty to the murder and was sentenced to life imprisonment upon pronouncement of the sentence. Alan threatened the lives of several people present in the courtroom. It's currently in Floyd County Prison in Rome, Georgia. I will say, however, that the judge completely lost um, that that verbal spar. Like, 100%. Okay. Super cool superconductor. Ye gold, silver, copper, sapphire, crystal. Oh. This is not feasible. This is some really intense, like, oh, wow. How are you gonna keep it? How are you gonna keep it cold? I don't care about the physics. Here we will explore. Nah, we already fact. watched one of these. So, gentlemen, Sibloid, Lord of the Dark Vectors, and his Brilloid Sting Ships are upon us. They are an elite force of Trevuglian Dongloaders, superbly trained on this. Starwing from Nintendo. With its new FX chip, which allows me to. Oh, good old Star Fox One. What is it? Sir Richard? Portuguese cultural attaché waiting in the drawing room. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. the intrepid intergalactic Nintendo. Hi, I'm Nigel Mansell. And you know, I'm not the type of guy who buys his family presents that he really wants for himself. 
That's why I bought my wife Nigel Mansell's World Championship game from Nintendo. You have to choose the right tyres, pit stop, and race against the best drivers in the world. It's just like the real thing, and my wife loves it. Right, darling? Hi, it's uh, very realistic, Nigel. My little girls love it too. Right, twins? Not Completely off, true. Hey, even my dog loves it. Right, Fang? Woof. So, there you have it. I think it's a wonderful game, and if your family is anything like mine, they'll love it too. Right, girls? Right, Nigel. Woof. Nigel Mansell, Nintendo. 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 These ah, fucking commercials my rule. My Nintendo have placed four Super Mario games on the same cart for less than 50 of your pounds. Super Mario Brothers 1 is pretty tricky. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2 is a little more advanced. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3 is... But Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels is so difficult, it could actually unhinge the balance of your mind. Aren't you that... Talentless celebrity women find repellent. You see what I mean? He's completely tonto. Mario all stars an infuriating minimative Nintendo. So mean. Here is an announcement. The Super Nintendo system is now available with four Super Mario games on one cartridge. It's just typical. You can never find a plumber when you need one. Then four come along at once. Super Mario all stars an infuriating That's minimative. Not Oh, yeah, it's about Jesus or something. Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Tonight, yeah, Savior Jesus Lord in David's town. He is Christ, the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddle cloth, lying in a manger. I am the, a the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? Whatever God wants, I will do. The fuck? The fucking human face? I will the shepherds. I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake
Yeah, this is going too hard. Oh, I'm done though. Hi. You look great today. I just wanted to say that. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys! What? It should be you on this boat, Snake! Not me! I'm based in Red Pilled! You're a liberal cuck! What the fuck is he even saying? It doesn't matter. He's gonna fall into a pool and die after his son has sex with his new wife. It's okay to laugh, cuz. We're all thinking it. <laughs> there is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. Okay, someone drew- someone put their persona pointing a gun at me and said, Show us what's inside the fridge, Wayne. You want the truth? You want the truth? You want the fucking truth? Oh. There is no fridge! Never real. I love that so much. Oh, I remember this. Do you guys remember this? Broke the baby. Still playing five, don't worry, this doesn't spoil anything. It's just very stupid. God, he'll never make it. Oh, he made it. Incredible. That was way too far. That is Corey. He's helping us with our inflatable decoy test for Ratchet and Clank. Oh, that commercial fucking rules! Oh, man. The inflatable decoy. One of 36 weapons and gadgets not fit for this world. I fucking love how hard they hit that lawnmower with the car. Will you date me? Breathe if yes. Recite the Bible in Japanese if no. What the? Is that actually the Bible? Can you stop breathing too? I would have preferred you just beat me up and call me gay. Now into a shaker, I'm just going to place some kiwi, but first I want to mush it up a little bit and break this up. These are beautiful ripe kiwis, lots of flavor. Right. Just fork these until they're all broken up like that. Then into my shaker, I'm going to put some ice. Then I'm going to put my kiwi. Then in here, two shots of vodka. Really? 
That's not two shots. Then one shot of melon. That's liqueur. not two shots. Ooh, it's gonna be strong. And That's... a little bit of simple syrup, of course. This is just sugar and water that I brought up to a boil, and I put it in this cute little squeeze bottle. And I'm just gonna put in here just a hint of the juice from a jalapeno jar. That is a just drunk a bit to drink. Give it a great kick. This woman Stir is an up. alcoholic. Now it's taste time. There's nothing in there. It's just booze and like a single kiwi and like there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing in there. It's 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 just boo like that's not a cocktail. Beautiful green color, gorgeous little lush lagoon. With pretty little black seeds floating from those kiwis, then I'm gonna garnish this with just two kiwi slices that I reserved. Beautiful. That's not that's not Oh, that's not. Hey guys, I'll be right back. Dog's crying. I'm back. What's up, dweebs? Losers? Nailed it. Yellow. Okay. Don't play this version of the game. Oh my God! Don't it's do it. Path. Okay. <laughs> uh... This game is uh, a bomb diffusing game. Okay. Yes, we have to stop the bomb. Okay. Stop the bomb. Okay. By working together. Hmm. Okay. What what game was that? That was Pat saving Wooly from playing the Silent Hill Three HD collection. I like I like this trend where if something disastrous is happening on, on Wooly stream, like his phone rings, and I'm just like, no, stop, don't do it, or it's Paige texting him a big fat cock attached to Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never know which one it is. Or I'm being like, you y'all better oink. Hey, can you uh, give me some of that? Yes, we have to stop the bomb. Okay. Stop the bomb. Okay. By working together. Hmm. Okay. I'll yes. Together. Yes. Together. together. Work okay. together. Thanks, yes. Guys. And and first, uh, I will speak uh, in English. English. Okay. Uh, simple okay. English. Simple, simple English simple for Corona Senpai. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and Senpai will uh, defuse the bomb. Yes. Yeah. Stop the bomb. Okay. Mm. Stop bomb. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm die. Thank you, Hoiba. What? <laughs> I'm yeah, dying. Queen. Thank you forever. I need another bomb. I can make anything a bomb. Yeah, yeah but this will. Yeah, because it's buzzing like a fly. It's definitely a fly. Paige, it's not a wasp. It's a fly. It is a regular ass house fly that is terrorizing you. It's pretty big. Yeah. Also, this is classic. I love this. Queen. I need another bomb. I can make anything a bomb. Yeah, but this will be a cool bomb. Okay. Okay, so it's a tank. But a small, small tank. tank. And it has a skull on it and can talk to people. What's wrong? Do you want an honest criticism? Yes. That's fucking stupid. That's not criticism. Later. I need another bomb. Ah, oh, Jesus. No, no, this one will be good. I can only use one bomb at a time. Why do we need three? Shut up. <sighs> okay, so it'll make a tiny U. What? Shut. It'll make a tiny U, and it'll stay on a person. And if anyone talks to the person the tiny U is on, the tiny U will appear in their eye. Will they explode? They will explode. Will explode. Okay. And after they explode, time will reset and create a constant time loop until I find out who blew you up. But I won't know who it is, so time will continuously reset 
because they'll continue to explode even if they don't talk to the person the tiny you is on. Why can't I just be a simple cat, man? Because hands make my dick rock hard! It's true. That's why. That's exactly why. Progress report. It's an older code, Skipper. I can't make it out. You, higher mammal. Hmm? Can you read? No. Phil can read, though. Phil? Use overdrive for standing punch. Kick. Flat. Head flat. Dust. Kick. Flat. Dragon, Dragon install! install. Classic. I hey, love you it. You want to play a fighting game? I'm not really into fighting games. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. I mean, I don't really play them. So I'm not going to be very good. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take it easy on you. Okay. Well, we can give it a shot. Cool. Let's play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do Want to play again? Get no, out of I have to see oh, your eyes. Oh, Zog. Oh, all in some Dakka. Teeth can buy loads of Dakka. How's that then? Teeth can be swapped for shooters and bullets. Alright. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Tasting History. Today is my birthday. I'm gonna save this And so page. I thought it would be great. The rain appears to have stopped, Your Majesty. We should be able to continue. Is he everything we might have hoped? Allow me to introduce our sovereign lord, Ralph Jones, King of Great Britain, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith. John Goodman. Is everybody having a good time? Is King Ralph. I love John Goodman. Where did they find this man? John Goodman. Peter O'Toole. He's uncouth. He's unkempt. He's the king. King Ralph. John Goodman fucking owns. He had the older fat guy, like, roll cornered for decades. Who the fuck said this? Why the fuck is there even the full video off of the fucking show? Want some Wilkins coffee with your strawberry? Fuck yeah! Cake? Can't say that I do. You can't say that I you do. I fucking love either. Wilkins coffee. You getting on the Wilkins coffee bandwagon? Never. You either go with Wilkins or you just don't go. This machine will make you want a cup of Wilkins coffee. Not me. I'll take mine with cream and sugar. Why are we climbing this tree? For Wilkins coffee. I don't want any. It's autumn and the nuts are beginning to fall. Coffee break. Want a cup of Wilkins? Oh, thank you. Now all our workers drink Wilkins. You want a can of Wilkins coffee? No, give me a bottle of ginger ale. Okay. But he would have liked the Wilkins. How about some Wilkins coffee, Captain? No. I say, man, overboard. Help. Okay, somebody asked, are these shake. are these real ads? Yes, these are absolutely, these are absolutely real ads. This is Kermit. This is the origin of Kermit the Frog. Do you drink Wilkins coffee? Never. My friend, this is going to be the closest shave you've ever had. How about a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, just get me down on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Some people just never learn. I'm gonna drink this coffee and it's not Wilkins. Doesn't that coffee taste kind of flat? On guard, salute Wilkins coffee. But I don't drink Wilkins coffee. Some learn, some don't. Any last request, like for a cup of Wilkins coffee? No. You don't drink Wilkins? No. How shocking. You can't persuade me to drink Wilkins instant coffee. Pretty please? Ouch, okay. Just a stab in the dark. I see you don't drink Wilkins Instant Coffee. What about my future? I hate to tell you, but 
You don't have a future. Have some Wilkins coffee, sir? If that's all you serve, I'll get off at the next town. Next town's five miles, straight down. You gonna run against the Wilkins coffee party? Start the race. On your mark, get set, go. Nobody beats <laughs> Wilkins. <laughs> you know, people who don't drink Wilkins coffee just blow up sometimes. Oh, that's a lot of... See what I mean? You have any Wilkins coffee in your house? No. You know, a house isn't a home without Wilkins coffee. <laughs> okay, buddy, what do you think of Wilkins coffee? I never tasted it. Now, what do you think of Wilkins? I love, I love that some of them are just like, do you want Wilkins coffee? No. Bang. Fuck you, you're dead. of people from other countries making fun of people who speak English. Like I think like I think it's the funniest fucking thing in the world. Like the dude trying to do like the super intense American accent is like, "Oh yeah, no, that is pretty good." That's great. This cube cured my mortality. All the people here who bought this wireless tungsten cube to admire its surreal heft have precisely the wrong mindset. I, in my exalted wisdom and unbridled ambition, bought this cube to become fully accustomed to the intensity of its density, to make its weight bearable, and in fact normal to me, so that all the world around me may fade into a fluffy arena of gravitational Tungsten's inconsequence. Crazy heavy for its size, and it has right? worked to profound success. I have carried the tungsten with me, have grown attached to the downward pull of its small form, its desire to be one with the floor. This force has become so normal to me that lifting any other object now feels like lifting cotton candy or a fluffy pillow. Big burly manly men who pump iron now seem to me as little children who raise mere aluminium. I can hardly remember the days before I became a man of tungsten. How distant those days seem now. Look this up. How burdened by the apparent heaviness of everyday objects. I laugh at the Philistines who still operate in a world devoid of tungsten, their shoulders thin and unempowered by the experience of bearing tungsten. Ha! What fools! Blissful in their ignorance, anesthetized by their lack of meaningful struggle, devoid of passion. Nietzsche once said that a man who has a why can bear almost any how. But a man who has a tungsten cube tungsten? can bear any object less dense. Wait, and all grand? this talk of why and how becomes unnecessary. Schopenhauer once said that every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Tungsten expands the limits of a man's field of vision by showing him an example of increased density. In comparison to which, the everyday objects to which he was formerly accustomed gain a light and airy quality. Who can lament the tragedy of life a when surrounded by such lightweight objects? Tungsten. Who can cry in a world of styrofoam and cushions? Weighs 41 Have you yet understood? Pounds. This is no ordinary metal. In this metal is the alchemical potential to transform your world by transforming your expectations. Those who have not yet held the cube in their hands That's and mouths crazy. will not understand, for they still live in a world of normal density. Yeah, like alright, I'm done. Caved <laughs> To hear about the weird problem that happened with my leg is that the thing all right that that's a bit long back? for me all right guys i'm gonna cut it there 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna start to wrap it up. I'm gonna start to wrap it up, and we'll start with that video next week. We'll start with that one next week. No, uh, keep going. Shut up. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy now. I'm fat, sleepy baby. Just got here. I've been streaming for five and a half hours, dude. I hate that. Oh, I just got here, bro. I didn't. I've been here since the beginning. <laughs> Alright, let's thank it to people. There's only a few people left to thank. Uh, like Hazazu. Thanks, man. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for getting me into 14. Almost done with Stormblood and loving it. You're quite welcome. I hope you're having more fun later. A little fat Buddha gifted two subs. Thanks, man. Animatic sub says, did I miss the ultra killing? You did. Unfortunately. Pocket Blue sub to say that was pretty good. Thank you. Lord Angry sub says, a cougar shot is worth three normal shots. Yeah, it is. Is it? Ran Ryu kicked in five boxes. Pat, here money for video watch. It's only eleven seconds. Come on, dude, do it. All right, Ran Ryu. All right, you win this one. I already know what it is. I already fucking know what it is. And this is my universal translator. Unfortunately, so far it only translates into an incomprehensible dead language. Hello! Bonjour! Crazy gibberish. Crazy gibberish. Alright. That's... That's everybody. We're gonna go raid somebody now. Oh, thanks for the sub, Rofos. I appreciate it. Alright, who's running what now? do 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 Okay. Uh, let's go raid Mr. Skeletor. Oh my god, they're doing some charity thing! They're doing some stupid charity thing for wrestling! I don't know how that works. But anyway, go, go hang out over there. And, and have fun. Okay, bye now.